Hello! Magandang gabi na naman sa inyo. Magandang umaga kung ano arts mo ang pinapalood. This is it. This is the sign. Nagi ka na. Apply na. <laughs> so, tonight, I'm going to be talking to you about the step-by-step -step application here in 5.1 Talk. Now, habang ginagawa ko ito, uh, pasintabi na lang sa mga ano dyan, tutom dyan. <laughs> Kakain ako kasi tatatapos lang ng klase ko and di talaga ako makatulog kasi nagugutom ako. Nag-decide ako na mag-take na lang ng video habang kumakain para maya-maya, di ba? Natunawan na ako, ready to sleep na. So, I'm going to have McDonald's! There you go. It's the cheesy burger McDonald's from McDonald's. Ooh, yum, yum. Oops. There you go. McDonald's, okay, man. Fresh fries from McDonald's. Mmm. Sa unang kagat. Mmm. Patatas lahat. So, going back, uh, we're going to discuss the step-by-step -step procedure in the application for Fries and Talk. Um, so, without further ado, let's do it. So, doon sa unang vlog ko, napanggit ko na online application po tayo sa 5 And that's right. Okay. Now, this first step is fill out the application form which can be found in the website. So, attached. So, at the description of this video, uh, I will include the, the, the link for the application form. Just click it and fill out the form. And let's go. Uh, so, 5 on top po, it takes days. Actually, it takes almost 3 to 4 days before you're launching. So, ayun, may step by step. Subukan mo na ito, guys. Oh, mm, so long. Mm. Cool. Makdo, baka na yun. So, going back. If I want to go, I'll come up with four steps before I'm launching. So, the first step is fill out the application form. Are we done, Sean? Hmm? Are we done? Wrap up. Just let me just step up. Now, ito po yung itura ng application form. And so, all you're gonna do is fill that out. And then it will let it will make you create a password so that you can sign in to the my page or the teachers portal of Hypato. Now, not because you have a teachers portal, it means that you're already hired. Okay, so there are steps you can access or you can make bookings in the website or in the portal. Now, step two po is pass the interview online. Pass the interview, the online interview, and teaching demo. So yes, but the online interview, po, uh, it's just a, a one versus one interview. So it's a one v one interview. Uh, I think it's through Skype because last time I checked, uh, they still use Skype for the interview. So make sure you have a Skype account because. Uh, you're going to need it a lot if you become a high bond talk teacher. And then, pagkatapos ng uh, initial interview, they will announce at that same time if you pass. So, they're going to endorse you now to the technical check. Well, in the technical check, uh, you need to prepare a screenshot of your speed test, your computer processor, Processor, the CPU processor, uh, the 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 RAM. I know it should be eight gigabyte RAM, but there are teachers who pass with four gigabyte RAM. But if it would be better for eight gigabyte RAM. After the technical check, say you hey you pass, congratulations. They're going to endorse you to. As I remembered. They're going to endorse you to the orientation. So this is what you call PSO. 
pre or pre service orientation. So sa PSO po, uh, bahan ko lang ng notes ko. They will discuss the launching requirement. So the launching requirements are uh, MBA clearance, college diploma, uh, also your valid ID, and uh, your BPI account. Uh, yes, they use BPI account po for the salary. And what else? Next step, kulala ayam. Tabu. So what's tabu? Pampaligo. Ano what? <laughs> tabu topics are what are the topics that you should not talk about during the class. So PSO is basically uh, preparing you how to be an effective five one talk teacher. Okay, so if mahuli ka nila na na nag na gumamit ng tabu topics or nag-discuss ng tabu topics sa loob ng class, they don't give warnings. They terminate you. Because they have zero tolerance for that kind of topics. Okay, so sa PSO, you'll learn about that. Those, those top, those, those, those dates. So, how to upload requirements on my page? That will be discussed also on your PSO. How to navigate the tools in my page and what teaching aids you should have um, before and during your teaching here in Arvanta. So, you need to prepare those and those will be discussed at your PSO. Okay, so step 4. Um, the NTT or new teacher training and onboarding. So, once you're done with the PSO, uh, PSO has, I think, a certificate now. You finish this training, so they're going to endorse you to the NTT another training. It's called the New Teachers Training. Now here, as, uh, they will teach you how to navigate tools in the AC application. So once again, AC application is the domain app that we use in teaching. So that is the five one talk. Ang gamit nila is sa pagkakalam ko Skype sa pagtuturo and then there's another kind of application that they use but I can't remember what it is so ito nga that's before now luckily nung nag ako last year AC was created wow so very very smart kasi dun sa AC andun na lahat na kailangan mo completing a class yes they will teach that in the NTP what are the considerations of classical class? How to ma uh, when to mark the student absent? Aside from that, training and promotion. So guys, this is the permit for the teacher level. Okay, so ito po yung uh, yung pinaka ilalim po is new hire. Yung sa new hire and starting teacher. Uh, ito po yung application process po niya. application procedure po ha. So, count na dito yung NTT training and your uh, onboarding training. Now, after your onboarding training, your starting level will be newly qualified teacher. Ngayon, so newly qualified teacher, your base rate would be 54 pesos. Okay, so not bad. So, 5 one talk is mm, not offering such a bad salary for a starter. So, you just need to complete 100 successful classes. Ngayon, pag sabi natin successful classes, umatend sa student, katapos ang class, then po. So, yung may mga absent students po, hindi siya counted as successful class. Now, kapag naka 100 ka na, uh, your next level will be junior teacher. Yun sa junior teacher po, your base rate will be mm, 58 pesos. So, that's 4 pesos. 4 pesos per lesson. Right? So, hindi na rin siya magsama. So, malaki na rin ang madadagdag sa isang buong araw mo kung kung nari naka 15 classes kasi sa isang buong araw. Right? Okay. Now, after, now, kung junior teacher ka na, you need to complete 200 lessons para maging senior teacher 8. 
Now, if you're a senior teacher A, uh, you need to finish 400 lessons to become a senior teacher B. Now, sa senior teacher A, ang grade mo po ay 62 pesos. Alright, so, ang nakadilang pinaas, di ba? Um, after that, kapag na-complete mo na yung 400, you're going to be a senior teacher B. So, so, I think, I'm sorry, I don't know kung magkano yung ano, sa senior teacher B because as of now, I'm a senior teacher A, but I am on my way to senior teacher B. And I think the highest, as I remember, dun sa NPT namin, ang highest salary, base salary ng 5 on is 72 pesos per class. So imagine, 25 minutes is equivalent to 72 pesos. So hindi na rin siya masama. Lalo na if FPA teacher ka. <laughs> Side promotion. Lalo na kung kasama ka sa ibang project niya, ni 5 on top. Um, sobrang laki na nung, nung, nung 72 pesos. So your teaching demo will be with a Chinese evaluator. Igagayt ka po ni, igagayt ka po sa inyong uh, sa inyong NPT ng math demo. So, kung ano yung ginawa mo sa math demo niyo with your with your trainer, yun na yun din po ang gagawin niyo sa inyong Chinese evaluator. So, trust our trainers. They are there to help us, guide us and make our way through five point. Uh, and then, um, let's see. So, reminder for no requirements, no watching. Okay, so, the requirements will be discussed in your PSO. So, paano kung wala po kung ano, uh, hindi ay kung ganyan. So, you should ask at the, during the PSO. Okay, so, SSS Pag-Ibig Feel Health, not needed po yan. So, don't worry. Uh, we are Chinese, China-based company, so we're going to abide by the rules and regulations and the law of the Chinese, sorry, of the Republic of China. Now, and what else? I think I've covered everything. Uh, step one, step two, step three, and step, step, step four. So, thank you so much for watching. Kapsipong kumain at po natunawan na ako. It's time for me to say goodbye and go to bed. But aside from that, I want you to all remember to comment down below if you have any questions, if you have any questions, if you have any And click the subscribe button and the notification bell. And like this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Goodbye.